I'm a macrobiologist, molecular biologist, biochemist, infection biologist. And in my lab, we are interested in studying the biology of bacterial uh, macroorganisms. What is fascinating about macrobiology is that actually there are still a lot of mysteries remain to be discovered. We are interested in Streptococcus pyogenes because it's a, a strict human pathogen responsible for a wide range of, of diseases and we are just interested in understanding the, the molecular and cellular pathways that allow Strep pyogenes to interact uh, with its environment, whether these are predators or the human host. Emmanuel Charpentier is one of the most innovative scientists working in the field of molecular infection research. At the Helmholtz Center in Braunschweig, she is investigating the virulence of bacterial pathogens, which is best done by observing bacteria defending themselves against attackers. At this point, a finely balanced regulatory mechanism kicks in, and Professor Charpentier studies the interaction between RNA and proteins. Bacteria have an adaptive immune system which allows them to defend themselves from their predators. So this can be the viruses called bacteriophages. And the adaptive immune system is composed of an RNA component that carries the memorization of a previously encountered virus and some proteins that will allow the, the memorization event and uh, also subsequently the, uh, the attack uh, of, of the predators upon a, a second infection. But exactly how this mechanism functions has been a matter of speculation for a long time. Emmanuel Charpentier and her colleagues have managed to unravel the puzzle. First of all, they investigate the regulative RNA segments in the streptococci, which serve to preserve the cell and do not express proteins. But the biologists suspect there is a connection with the immune response. Focusing on one of such RNA, uh, which is now known as a tracia RNA, we ended up uh, asking the question whether this RNA uh, would uh, interfere with the bacterial adaptive uh, immune system of the bacteria called CRISPR-Cas. And indeed, we found out that uh, this RNA can form a duplex uh, with a CRISPR RNA component, which is a memory device of this uh, adaptive immune system, and can, can guide a, a protein uh, of the system that has a function to cleave the DNA of invading uh, viruses. Charpentier's lab investigates the molecular control circuits of immune defense. To do so, the biologists propagate selected cell lines of streptococci and isolate their RNA. Then the proteins are expressed in E. coli. This is where the enzyme that is decisive for cleaving foreign DNA is isolated, the protein Cas9. The DNA cleavage activity of this protein is studied using gel electrophoresis. Cas9 is not only crucial for immune defense, but is also the basis for a unique genetic tool. The mechanism that we discovered is really a, a, a unique mechanism whereby uh, two RNA molecules interfere with one another to form a, a single duplex RNA that guide an endonuclease, a protein that has uh, the possibility to cleave DNA to the target viruses. And when we followed up on the pathway of this adaptive immune system, it became clear that this system would uh, carry a high potential as a new molecular biology tool. Nowadays, Charpentier's molecular scissors are used in labs all over the world. They are becoming a standard feature of applied research. Success like this was not predictable. It was only facilitated by fundamental research. There is no applied science without fundamental science. And our discovery on the CRISPR-Cas9 system is an excellent example why uh, fundamental science, especially fundamental science on, on, on bacteria, trying to understand how bacteria function, is really uh, essential. Hanover Medical School. This is where Alexander von Humboldt Professor Emmanuel Charpentier has affiliated activities. The Rebirth Research Center focuses on regenerative therapies for heart, blood, lung and liver disorders. And Charpentier's genetic cutting tool is ideally suited for this purpose. 
I see a great advantage to be affiliated to the Hanover Medical School. This school is strong in the field of regenerative medicine. The beauty of the CRISPR-Cas9 is that it offers a, a, a tool, very simple to use, that allows to, to delete, uh, correct, uh, replace genes on demand in a very uh, efficient manner. The discovery of the simple, effective and specific immune system of the streptococci opens up opportunities for targeted intervention in its life cycle to prevent infection. But who would have thought that we could benefit so substantially from a bacterium that causes serious acute and chronic infections? The discovery of CRISPR-Cas9 is extremely rewarding is uh, spending uh, hard work and, and being perseverant in pursuing a mechanism and uh, finding out that actually the mechanism can, can be used uh, in a number of applications in biotechnology and biomedicine. The genetic scissors may even be suitable for treating inherited diseases. Emmanuelle Charpentier is thus continuing her research to better understand the mechanisms and to discover more RNA and protein-based functions in bacteria.